This is instruction for how to draw your 10 by 10 inch grid. So, first things first, you're going to put your name nice and large on the bottom. Nice and large and your class. That's number one. Number two, you're going to turn the page sideways. You are going to measure from one corner, from zero, not the edge of the ruler, zero, you're going to put a little tick mark up to the four. From the four, you are going to then measure up to the 10 and make another little tick mark that way. So, so far, I'm going to exaggerate it and make it bigger. You've got two tick marks. Then you're going to do the same thing on the bottom side here. You're going to count out from zero to measure to the four. Put a little tick mark. Mine is bigger than yours will look. Then from that four that you just drew, you will draw out to 10. So now you've got four tick marks. Now you will connect those tick marks. Okay, so I'm going to connect across. It's kind of hard, you can't see it all here, but I'm lining up my ruler and both tick marks are lined up. So I'm lined up here and I'm lined up here. So you're going to line up both of your tick marks, not just one, and draw across. Then you're going to go to the other one. Line up the ruler with one tick mark there. Make sure on the bottom you're also lined up. This can be a little tricky. The bottom's lined up. Oh, now the top is misaligned. So I check that until they're both lined up and then I connect them. Okay, from here, on the top side here, I'm going to measure out one inch, make a little tick, and from the one, I'm going to measure out 10 to the bottom. I'm going to repeat that from the top, measure out one inch, and then from that one, I'm going to measure out 10 inches. And then, in the same fashion, I'm going to line up both of those tick marks. This is lined up, this is lined up. Then I'm going to connect them. Then on the bottom, I'm going to line up both tick marks over here. And I am going to connect them. That's step one to make your 10 by 10 grid. Now, you need to go and put tick marks all along the edges. So start with one edge. Let's see if I can zoom in here a bit. It's a little bit fuzzy, but you should get the idea. And at every inch, you're going to put a vertical tick mark all the way around your entire 10 by 10 inch grid. So there are tick marks all the way. I'm going to turn and I'm going to go zoom back out. So I'm lining up the zero. Remember to line up the zero, not the edge of the ruler. The zero, not the edge of the ruler. Then one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten doesn't have to be done. Then we'll line it up again here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last side, finally, all four sides. And we are almost done. So close, I can feel it. The intensity is crazy. The crowd is going nuts. Now, this is a tricky part. Some people don't get this. You have to, again, line up a tick mark on one side with a tick on the other. Sometimes people line up only one side and then it doesn't line up on the other. So carefully move so that both of them are lined up. Now this part, you draw lightly, as lightly as you can. You may not even see it, okay? Very, very lightly. You do see it, but you've got to do it quite lightly and you go all the way down. All the way down, you do every single line nice and lightly. And once you've done one side and you've gone, you've done this way, now you're going to turn it around and you're going to repeat and do this whole side. Again, you are doing this lightly. You should do it actually much lighter than I'm doing here. So just dark enough so that only you can see it. Okay, next step. Now you've got your grid done, you've got your name on the bottom, now you're going to label it. You're going to label it as follows. On the, let's see, on the bottom we will put letters. So big letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. You're going to repeat that on the top as well. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Then on the left side, you're going to do one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. And you're going to repeat that on the left, on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you've done a perfect grid there with A to J on the bottom, A to J on the top, 1 to 10 on the left and the right. And you've done this very lightly, much lighter than me, otherwise it's going to show up. And that's how you make your 10 by 10 grid. The crowd goes crazy! Whoa! Okay, here we go. Step by step instructions for the grid. We have, what class do we have here today? 7C! 7C. They are so annoying. I mean, wonderful. Okay, let's um, get over here. 39 of them, though. It's a little crazy here. Okay, so first things, guys, you are going to turn your paper vertically and kind of in the bottom, nice and large, write your name. Now, if you don't know how to do that, just ask the person beside you. Um, they can probably give you some help with that. And five, four, three, name and class. Class, very prominent. Class, very nice and large. Two, one, and zero. Now turn your page sideways, landscape mode. Line up the top of your paper and the ruler at the top with the zero at the top left hand corner. Line up your ruler on the top left hand corner. If your name isn't perfect, don't worry. Turn your page horizontally, everybody. Turn your page sideways. I see some students who don't have their page sideways. Okay, zero. From the zero, you're going to mark at four. Make a mark at four. Now, put the zero on where you just marked four, and to the right, mark at 10. So from the top side we have a marking at 4 inches and then another 10 inches to the right there. Don't flip your paper around when you do this. Don't flip your paper around. You should follow, excuse me, you should follow the steps exactly as I'm showing you here. You're measuring from the bottom. I told you to measure from the top. 